Music Access. Do you guys go grocery shopping a lot? Here in Korea, most people do their grocery shopping at traditional markets, smaller supermarkets, or big discount chains. Wherever you go, there are so many things on display. Things you want to buy, or things that you want to try that there's always not enough time to see it all. These places are always full of people too, so they make us feel like, ah, this is how we live. Don't you think music access is like that too? It's where I get to see how you live. The two hours that I spend with you always makes me feel alive. It's full of energy, fun, and things are always changing. The reason why I'm happy and excited these days is because of music access and you. What up, guys? The first song we listened to together on Saturday, May 4th, was the Freedom Song by Jason Raz. On Saturdays, we go on a sweet email date, you and I, with You've Got Mail. In the second hour, we also take a look at all the latest Billboard and UK chart updates with Chart Beat. Here's how you can listen to me. You can download the Arirang application on your smartphones or listen on your computers at www.arirangradio.com. You can also listen to us through Terrestrial DMB or if you are on Jeju Island through these FM stations. Jeju City is 88.7. Seokbipo City is 88.1. And the Taejong area is 101.9. And guys, before we get started, let's see who has come to play on our message board. Pim from Vietnam. He, she wrote, Hi, Aaron. I'm 13 years old. Next week, I have the final history and biology tests. Ah, uh, can you give me some advices to remember the lessons? There are too many lessons I have to learn, and I'm really bad at biology. I'm a human, not an animal. LOL. Anyway, say fighting to me, Aaron. I'll do my tests well. What up, what up, Pim from Vietnam? Not Pim, Pim from Vietnam. Um, any advice? I would say, you know, just study, but don't overdo it. Because, you know, like, if you take a test and then you stay up all night studying, you definitely won't remember it in the morning. So I would say study, you know, just the right amount and then get a lot of rest. And, yes, fighting Pim from Vietnam. Next is Diana Mariluz from Peru. I think I got that right. Hi, Aaron. I have a question for you. Hee, hee, hee. Who's the most interesting fan you have ever met? Ooh, what up, Diana? Oh, uh, that's a hard one, actually. Um, You know what, Diana? I'll think about it, and I'll get back to you. Promise. Thank you very much. And if you guys want to share your thoughts, too, just click www.arirangradio.com and leave me a message on our music access message board. Let's listen to two songs before we come back with You've Got Mail. The next two songs are Lose My Breath by Destiny's Child and I Don't Want to Know by Mario Winans. Our Saturday corner, You've Got Mail, is about sending your thoughts, things that were difficult to express in words, through email. You can send out these emails to your friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, neighbors, coworkers, you name it. If you're really shy, you don't have to put your name up on it, and we'll keep it anonymous. So anyone who wants to send out a heartfelt message, you can email us at musicaccess at arirang.co.kr. Once again, guys, that's musicaccess at arirang.co.kr, and I'll deliver it for you on air every Saturday at this time. Also up ahead, it's time for me to reveal my personal handwritten letter to a special someone with Aaron's mail. Are you curious who the letter is to? Then stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's check out our first email. It is from Ileana from Mexico, and subjects wrote what I've learned about Aaron. Hi, Aron, 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 hehe. <laughs> what have I learned about Aaron thanks to music access? I'll tell you from now on. Number one, it doesn't matter if you're sick, you will work hard. Number two, you always have the right words for your listeners. Number three, you are such a troll. <laughs> Thank you. Number four, you are afraid of the nunas. Ha ha ha. Number five, you don't like chocolate. Number six, you are trying to win all the time. Number seven, we, music access family, are like your second family. So is ours. Number eight, you are a Jason Raz fan. Number nine, you will rip your clothes off if you win number one at Billboard chart. And number ten, your heart is as pure as I knew. Thank you so much for letting us know more about you. I will find out a lot more in the future. For these and more reasons, I love you, Ileana. What up, Ileana from Mexico? Um, Wow, you, get, you actually learned a lot about me from music actors. I didn't even know, actually. Uh, thank you very much, you know, for your... um. 
I guess, love and support of me and, like, your interest in me, you know, it really means a lot to me. And it keeps me motivated when I receive things like this, you know, from our fans because it makes me want to, you know, reveal more about myself, you know, get closer to you guys. And, you know, she's pretty dead on, you know. Um, I don't like chocolate, you know. I like winning a lot. Um, I'm afraid of the nuts. So, guys, <laughs> this is very misunderstood by you guys. I'm not afraid of the nuts, but, like, I'm not a... I'm not, like, into... I... I I like the Nunez guys, all right? I'm, I don't know. I like the Nunez guys, all right? I'm sorry. And, yes, I am a Jason Mraz fan. I will rip off my clothes if I win Billboard number one. And I am a troll. Um, Thank you very much for calling me a troll. Um, You know, I hear this a lot. Like, I'm the team troll. I'm not sure why I'm the team troll. Maybe it's because I like joking around and stuff. But, um, you know, I, I could say oh, I'm the team troll. I like joking around and stuff. All right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that one, Eliana. All right, thank you so much for your email, Ileana. Ileana, Ileana, Ileana. And guys, let's listen to two more songs before we come back with more. The next two songs are Secrets by One Republic and Lesson Learned by Alicia Keys featuring John Mayer. <laughs> This is Aaron's Mail. To my friends back in L.A. What up, Brodies? <laughs> it's been a while, and I'm not sure if you guys are listening to me, but I'm going to read this on air anyways. How was college, guys? A lot of studying and partying. <laughs> I miss you guys a lot, no lie, for sure. When I get back, we'll kick it like... We'll kick it all together just like the old days, you know, SD, you know, whatever you guys want to do. And I want to thank you guys for supporting me when times are rough, you know. It really means a lot to me. And you know what, guys? Don't have too much fun without me. Will, Joe, John, Eddie, Howard, and Etienne, I most def miss you guys. And I hope to see you guys soon. Till then, take care. On Saturday, May 4th, from the Broski, Aaron. Tell you I was feeling that way too And if dreams were wings, you know I would have flown to you To be where you are Dreaming 
What up, guys? Aaron's mail. This week, my letter was written for my friends back in L.A. about... I'm not sure what I wrote it about. And the song that followed was Especially For You by MYMP. It was requested by Ina Mateo from the Philippines. And guys, MYMP actually stands for Make Your Mother Proud. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. And, you know, um, my mail this week was, you know, directed towards my, uh, my best friends in L.A., my close friends. Uh, Will, Joe, John, Eddie, Howard, Etienne. You know, in high school, we were definitely, um, we were a group, you know. We hung out every day, you know, every weekend together, you know. And I made so many memories with them. And, you know, they're definitely one of my biggest, you know, support pillars, you know. While I'm out here alone in Korea, you know, they always send me love and support from L.A. And it really means a lot to me, you know, that I still have my best friends who have my back, you know. So, um, I wanted to give them a little shout out. And, um, yes, they are in college now. They are sophomores in college. It's They're actually almost juniors now. They're sophomores in college. And last time I saw them was, I think, in September or August. And um, that was right when they were about to begin their sophomore year. And um, it's almost the end of sophomore year already. So it's been almost a year since I've last seen them. And, um, you know, I hope that, I hope you guys are doing well, if you guys are listening. I hope you guys are doing well. And, um, you know, keep up with the studies. Don't party too hard, guys. You know, because I know you guys like partying, but... Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I just want to thank my friends for all their love and support. It means a lot to me, guys. And um, yes, when I go back home, we will party like animals. <laughs> guys, Aaron's Mail, aren't you curious who I will write to next week? I'm curious myself, actually. And these letters that I write will all be uploaded onto our Music Access homepage under Aaron's Mail. If you didn't hear me read it today, go in and take a look after. I wrote my letter today, and I will upload it onto our Music Access homepage under Aaron's Mail. Okay, guys, let's listen to a song before we come back with more You've Got Mail. The next song was requested by Claudia from Romania, and she requested That Power by Will I Am featuring Justin Bieber. What up, guys? We just came back from listening to That Power by Will I Am featuring Justin Bieber. And you guys are here with me, Aaron of New East, on Music Access. It's time for your emails with You've Got Mail here on the first hour of Music Access this Saturday. Here's our next email. It is from Lisa from the United Kingdom. Hiya, Aaron. My name is Lisa, and I think I might be one of your oldest fans. Do I need to say my age? Never ask a lady her age. Ah, I will tell you. I am 44 years old, and my birthday is next month. Ah, to be young, huh? I remember those days. LOL. I have three Rugrats, and my two daughters are fans of New East, too. We are listening to you together at the same time. But, Cl- but Chloe Wu is at co- university while we are at home. My nickname, my brother calls me, is Dragon. Why? Because he says I breathe fire. Ha ha ha. And my friends call me Lion King. Don't ask me why. I'm a really nice person. Maybe because I'm quite strict as a mother, that is a good thing, right? Have you ever done something that your mother was mad at you about? And if possible, can you give a shout out to Chloe and Millie as they would love that and as any mother would do to make their daughters happy. Hope News would come to the Great Britain, UK one day. Give our love to the rest of the gang. You are doing a great job so far and your TT quiz hints are so funny. I love the girly slash kitties voices that you do. We will tune in to support you. Love and hugs from Mrs. Wu. Mrs. Wu, what up? I want to thank Mrs. Wu for a letter. You know, she's 44, but she's a, you know, she's a fan of me. You know, I want to thank.